guys, so today I'm going to be clipping the rabbit's nails and I get questions about it all the time. I have a video showing kind of in general how to do it, so I'll link that at the end of this video if you want to watch it. But this is just going to be a little bit more like casual style. So the first thing I do is get this thing. This thing is a little shelf. I got a savers. Do I just bring this over? Then I get the nail clippers ready and these are just Dollar Tree nail clippers. You don't need to go buy $10 nail clippers. Just get ones that are like a dollar because they'll work just the same. And they're just cat nail clippers. A lot of the times you won't really see ones for bunnies. Just get the ones for cats. They work really well. If you find them at like the Dollar Tree then they're really cheap. So I usually just put these over here. And now it's time to catch a rabbit. So I usually pick up Storm like this when he's sleeping. I just support his bum and his upper. Then I just place him down. Now Storm does pretty well with this sort of thing so it's not that hard. And I'm just gonna show you Storm first because he's easier. So I just have him on this little platform. You can see I'm standing up so it's about three feet, three and a half feet. This just prevents them from getting away quickly. Misty has jumped off of this before, um, but Storm never has. So I just grab his paw like this, I just stand behind him, find his nail, and just clip a little bit away from the white. I'll have a little picture on the screen you can look at. And with most bunnies' nails, you can see the pink from the white pretty easily. And just clip a little bit away from the pink. The left side of Storm is easier for me because I'm a righty, so reaching over him like this is a lot easier but then the left side it's a little bit more tricky because of being a righty I do it a similar way but I can't really reach over him as easily so it's a little bit harder and they will try to pull away most likely unless your rabbit is super chill in the front the rabbit has five nails it's kind of like a thumb like we have there's four that's easy to see and then the fifth is kind of tucked under so you really have to turn it up. I like having them on raised surface like this so I can hold their paw over the edge and then just reach under and then I'll turn him around and do it for the other one. And then for Storm's back, they usually don't like their back foot touched as much as their front so it might be even harder. It's also in a less convenient position. But just do your best. Try to do it quick too, so then they're not super stressed either. And that is it for Storm. I have their favorite treat. And then I'll just carry him down and then hand him one once he's down. Now it's time for Misty. Misty is a lot more nervous. So I'm first gonna groom her real quick while she's here. So I'm going to start in the front again the same way. Grab her in her front and Misty does not like it as much and her face, she always tries to see what's going on and stuff. If you are scared of your bunny biting you, you can wear gloves. I used to wear gloves for Misty until I built up a little more confidence with her because she still acts like she might try to bite me at times. She's not happy. <laughs> It's okay, Misty. Don't forget those claws that are underneath. Easy to forget that they're there. And then go many months without clipping them. And now for Misty's back paws, which she never likes very much. Misty, come on. Come on. This is always the hard part. Just try it a few times. Eventually, your bunny will hopefully stop taking it back. And the last one, and boom, last one. It's important to remember when you grab your bunny's foot and they try to kick it away, you don't want to hang on really tight. If they start kicking, you don't want to like hang on to it because that could hurt them. Just let them kick it away and then gently try to grab it again. And that's it for Misty. She gets all grumpy and doesn't like this. It's important to clip your rabbit's nails because if they get too long, it can cause sore hocks and foot problems and plus I found if I keep them clipped more they dig and are less destructive. I clip their nails every one to two months and that seems to work pretty well. I'm just gonna give Misty a treat once she gets down and then once I'm done I just put this back 
and that's it so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video lots of people ask how I clip their nails and how to do it and I know it can be kind of scary when you first trying to clip their nails and you don't know how they're gonna act or behave but just find what works best for you for me it's putting them on this where they can't really escape and I can easily manage and like keep them in this small area some rabbits might work better if they're on your lap or on like a washing machine or something like that yeah anyway guys thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye!